acetaminophen is the prototype for Tylenol. Um, its therapeutic class is the antipyretic, which is drugs used to treat fever, and a non-opioid analgesic. Its pharmacologic class is a centrally acting COX inhibitor. Inhibits synthesis of prostaglandins that may serve as mediators of pain, primarily in the central nervous system. The therapeutic action for Tylenol is analgesic and antipyretic. More commonly, it is used to relieve mild to moderate pain and fever. Um, pain associated with tension headaches, toothaches, muscle aches, and colds and fevers. It has no anti-inflammatory properties. It's not effective in treating arthritis or pain caused by tissue swelling following injury. Can be combined with a reduced amount of op opioids for severe pain decreases the risk of dependence and serious opioid toxicity. Fun facts. With, when mixed with water to make a paste, it can be used to remove sweat stains, set sits, and remove dandruff. Tylenol comes in many different formulations. It comes in tablets, caplets, elixir suppositories, and children's chewable tablets. It can also be given via IV called Erfamev. It's also available in combination with many other medications. Some of them are Tylenol PM, which is a mixture of acetaminophen and diphenhydramine. It can also uh, come in Tylenol number three, acetaminophen, and codeine. Tylenol is generally safe. However, in the malnourished patient, acute toxicity may result leading to renal failure. Other signs of acute toxicity include nausea, vomiting, and abdominal discomfort. Also, high doses of acetaminophen increase the risk for liver damage. And finally, it can cause an allergic reaction. Symptoms include rash and itching and also a very rare skin condition called Steven Johnson syndrome, which is a very painful red or purplish rash that spreads and blisters. Acetaminophen inhibits warfarin metabolism, causing it to accumulate to toxic levels, which can result in bleeding. Also, Tylenol is not recommended with alcohol or hepatotoxic drugs like barbiturates because of the possibility of liver failure from hepatic necrosis. Avoid herbs that have potential for liver toxicity. These include comfrey, cold's foot, and chaparral. When giving Tylenol, nurses should assess the overall health and uh, alcohol usage of a patient. Patients that are malnourished or abuse alcohol are at a higher risk of hepatotoxicity. If a patient is self-medicating, assess amount, frequency, and type of drugs taken as adverse effects on the liver and kidneys can occur with prolonged use of acetaminophen. Assess pain before and 30 to 60 minutes after uh, administration. Uh, acetaminophen may cause incorrect measurements of blood gl glucose levels, so see instruments instruction manual for more details. If an overdose occurs, acetylcysteine is the antidote. Do not confuse Tylenol with Tylenol PM, and be careful not to exceed the maximum daily dose of acetaminophen when combined with opioids. Administer with a full glass of water and may be taken with or without food. Patients should avoid alcohol use of taking more than an occasional one to two doses of acetaminophen. Three or more glasses of alcohol per day increase the risk of liver damage. Check the labels of all over-the-counter products to avoid taking more than one product containing acetaminophen at a time to prevent toxicity. Take exactly as directed and no more than the recommended amount. Chronic excessive use of greater than four grams per day may lead to hepatotoxicity and renal or cardiac damage. Discontinue medication and notify healthcare provider if any rash develops. Tramadol is the prototype. Its therapeutic class is centrally acting analgesic. Binds to new opioid receptors inhibits reuptake of serotonin and norepinephrine in the central nervous system. Therapeutic actions for tramadol is decreased pain, used to treat moderate to severe pain of stiff, tender, painful muscles, or neuropathic pain uh, when nerve fibers are damaged, dysfunctional, or injured. Can also be effective in suppressing cough reflex and slowing motility of the GI tract for causes of severe diarrhea. Used for around the clock pain, Pain relief, not PRN, is considered risk for addiction and dependence. Tramadol comes in plain and extended release, known as Ultram and Ultram ER. It's also available in combination with acetaminophen, called Ultraset. 
It has 325 milligrams of acetaminophen and 37.5 milligrams of tramadol. Side effects slash adverse effects on the CNS include seizures, dizziness, and somnolence. On the GI, vomiting, constipation, and dry mouth. And miscellaneous side effects include physical and psychological dependence, serotonin syndrome, whose symptoms include increased temperature, dilated pupils, agitation, sweating, and diarrhea. There's an increased risk of CNS depression when used with other CNS depressants like alcohol, opioid analgesics, and sedative slash hypnotics. Also, there's an increased risk of seizures with high doses of penicillin. The drug carbamazepine increases metabolism and decreases effectiveness of tramadol. And lastly, there's an increased risk of serotonin syndrome when used with MAO inhibitors and SSRI and SNRI antidepressants. Natural use of kava kava, valerian, or chamomile can increase CNS depression. Also, there's an increased risk of serotonin syndrome when used with St. John's wort. When giving tramadol, nurses should assess pain before and two or three hours after administration. Assess blood pressure and respiratory rate before and during treatment as well. Assess bowel sounds routinely and increase fluids to reduce the, uh, the risk of constipation. Prolonged use may lead to physical and psychological dependence and tolerance. Monitor patients for seizures during treatment, and if an overdose shall occur, naloxone may reverse some symptoms, but not all, and will increase the risk of seizures. Do not confuse tramadol with trazodone, and uh, scheduled doses may be more effective than PRN administration. Explain the therapeutic value of medications to your patients before administration to enhance analgesic effect. Discontinue use gradually to prevent withdrawal symptoms, and uh, a tramadol may be taken with or without food. Driving should be avoided as medication can cause drowsiness and dizziness. Patients should be instructed to change position slowly to minimize orthostatic hypotension. Patients should avoid concurrent use of alcohol or other CNS depressants with this medication. Patients should notify their doctor before taking other prescriptions, over-the-counter products, or herbal supplements concurrently. Patients should be encouraged to turn, cough, and breathe deeply every two hours to prevent atelectasis.